What's going on everyone? Real Red Politics here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Before I get into today's video, if you guys could take a second and leave a like, that would mean a lot. And if you are not yet subscribed or if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and help me reach my goal of 300 subscribers by the end of this month. So today we are going to be continuing the What Are My Thoughts series. This will be the sixth episode. This is a series where I go over different political topics. Right now I'm um, researching every U.S. president and then I'm uh, going over kind of what they did in their presidency and then um, I give my overall opinions on them at the end and this series entails you know you know my opinions and stuff so um, if you guys are carriers or whatever just know that these videos do contain my opinion you are welcome to agree or disagree um, and so for today's video it's gonna be probably a little bit of a shorter one and I'll explain why in a second but we are going to be talking about the 6th President of the United States, John Quincy Adams. So, what did John Quincy Adams do? Well, that's a good question. I had a hard time finding information because he didn't do a whole lot. Now, there are a couple things he did. I mean, wasn't like amazing things, but you know, it wasn't bad either. He finish the Erie Canal that's something I mean it, it that helped a lot with uh, trade and you know agriculture and everything as you know as land not not only as land was continuing to expand but as you know the economy was continuing to kind of grow with that expansion there needed to be not only another route but a faster route so to speak I don't know that it was faster but it provided another route for trade and for other economic purposes and something that's interesting to note is every morning according to according to sources and now if you guys are curious where I get my information I leave the links in the comment or in the description below so I'm not, you know, just pretending to pull out, like, facts or whatever. Everything that I talk about has been researched, and you can find the actual research links in the description below. But something that's interesting is he was known to go for either, like, a walk around the city or a swim before breakfast. I just thought that was interesting because, you know, I know not every president had a routine like that. But, you know, John Quincy Adams did. So, other than that, what else did he do? Well, from my understanding, now I could be wrong about this, but he supported more involvement with the federal government, or the federal gov government being involved in more. So he kind of supported more of a stronger central government. Uh, but he didn't exactly pass legislation or anything to really expand upon it all that much. And if any anything he proposed to Congress, Congress basically said no um, because of the controversy with this election. They were basically like, no, we're not going to do anything you want, and that's basically what happened. He proposed different pieces of legislation and ideas to Congress, and they basically said nope. And they, you know, so anything he wanted to propose or pass in Congress was stymied by Congress. Um... He attempted but failed to get a border that was more favorable to the U.S. Um, you know, that was existing with the Sabine River. He attempted to kind of get that a border that was stronger, in his mind, was stronger and more favorable. But he failed. He ultimately failed. And the only other thing I could really find much information on is he advocated... And this is one of his bigger points, and this is where the federal government comes in, or where he wanted the federal government to come in, was advocating for, like, road expansion, the use of federal currency or federal aid. And that's pretty much all I got on John Quincy Adams. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to say about the guy. I, you know, I, you know, I did spend a decent amount of time researching information, trying to figure out what... You know he did during his presidency if there was anything really major you know if there's a big failure and there really wasn't 
Now, when it comes to Andrew Jackson, Jackson, there's going to be a lot more to talk about with him. Um, and so that'll be a little bit of a longer video. And I guess something interesting to note is John Quincy was Secretary of State. I mean, I guess I think he was Secretary of State under James Monroe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else with John Quincy Adams that's really worth noting? No. Um, but like I said, when we get to Andrew Jackson, there's gonna, it's gonna be a longer video because there's a lot more, um, things to talk about with him. Um, and in regards to, like, the 8th president, Martin Van Buren, uh, there's probably a decent amount, I haven't researched really a whole lot into him, but there's probably a, um, decent amount of information. And, like, this isn't gonna be the only video that's short. They're, um, like, you know, William Henry Harrison, for example. When we kind of get into that video, it's going to be a short video because he didn't serve as president for very long. You know, we're going to get into, you know, some presidents that probably didn't serve that long. And, or, you know, if they only served one term, did they actually do anything during one term? That's another thing that John Quincy Adams is he only served one term. He lost Andrew Jackson in the following election. But that was kind of like if you kind of research the controversy of Quincy Adams or John Quincy Adams' election then you'll kind of see that um, the uh, the government was wanting Jackson, really. And so he, uh, Andrew Jackson, I think, was propped up by Tennessee. And then uh, he won the election. I think it was like 1828 or 1824 or something like that. I don't know. We'll get into it next video. Um, as regards to, in regards to any other information I have on this topic, I don't really have a whole lot. Now, I did release a couple. I didn't release as many videos as I had originally planned last week. I just didn't get around to it. But uh, last week, I did record a tier list video, which I'll link in the top right-hand corner. If you guys are interested in that kind of content, please let me know in the comment section. Um, if you guys want more tier list videos, I do have other tier list ideas, such as like, uh, you know, tier list ranking possible presidential candidates. And then I also released a video talking about Nikki Haley running for, uh, or making her bid for the presidency for the 2024 election and why I think it's laughable. Uh, in regards to anything else, I don't really have a whole lot else to say in regards to John Quincy Adams. Like I said, I, I tried to find information on him. You know, I, I mean, I, did, I, I researched for a pretty good amount of time and I just could not find any like major accomplishment like I said he was kind of stymied by Congress on most of everything he proposed um, a lot of, I mean a lot of it was use of the federal government which is another reason that Andrew Jackson won by pretty much a landslide is because people are like no we don't want that and like I said he was you know, if you guys are familiar with the term lame duck president, it's basically a president who's in office but doesn't get much done. That pretty much describes John Quincy Adams. So, that's what I had for today's video. So, if you guys did enjoy the video, like I said, please consider leaving a like and hitting that subscribe button if you are new. Or if you are not yet subscribed and do enjoy political content. I try to make videos three times a week and I try and upload at least three times a week. And sometimes I get, you know, sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. It all just kind of depends. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for more political content coming your guys' way.